In this lab, we're going to observe the behavior of strong and weak acids upon titrations. For part one of the experiment, use nitric acid and sodium hydroxide. For part two of this experiment, you'll be using formic acid and sodium hydroxide. Before you start the titration, you need to be preparing the burette. In order to do that, you need to rinse it with uh, sodium hydroxide. Take 10 milliliters and just pour it into the burette. And then empty it into a waste beaker. Go ahead and rinse it with the sodium hydroxide again just to make sure it's standardized. Use a volumetric pipette and a pipette pump to extract uh, 25 milliliters of nitric acid. To set up the titration for the nitric acid, make sure you have your stir motor on the stand. Have your burette clamped uh, with a clamp set up and put the nitric acid, 25 milliliters of nitric acid into the beaker and put a stir bar in there. Go ahead and start the stir motor and get it to a steady pace where the water is in the around. And then take out a pH meter and make sure you rinse it. Be very careful because the glass electrode is very fragile and can break easily. So go ahead, rinse it off, and then dry it completely before inserting it into the HNO3. There are two types of pH meters, the symphony and the Denver. This is a symphony. To measure with this pH meter, you need to make sure you, uh, the glass electrode is properly rinsed and dried. Be very careful because it can break really easily. And then insert it into your solution. Got it. The way the symphony pH meter works is that uh, it's already calibrated, so whenever 4, 7, and 10 show up, right above the pH, that means it's calibrated. Uh, what you do is you press measure and wait. Once the pH stabilizes, it will show you uh, the actual pH, which, would, which will be the last number on the screen. Once you add sodium hydroxide to the burette and insert the pH meter into the solution, this is what it should look like. And the motor sh stir motor should be started. Uh, your pH meter will give you an initial reading. Make sure you record this. Record the initial volume of of the sodium hydroxide in your burette, and then go ahead and start the titration. Add two milliliters at a time, and wait for it to dissociate completely until uh, before you read your pH meter. You should have already calculated your uh, equivalence point beforehand. Once you get close to it, uh, in, in regards to your volume of uh, sodium hydroxide, add only a few drops at a time. Once you approach your equivalence point you have calculated, decrease the volume of sodium hydroxide being added. You can adjust the stop clock to add a few drops at a time, and decrease the volume of triatrin added to about 0.2 milliliter aliquots. Once you approach your uh, equivalence point, this is what your pH should look like. And try to get it as close to 7 as possible. Once you've approached your equivalence point, you can go ahead and shoot past it and you can start adding two milliliter aliquots again. Uh, your pH will rise sharply uh, and become very basic. If you shoot past your equivalence point without ever getting close to it, uh, rinse out the nitric acid, get some more, and repeat the titration. For part two of the titration, instead of nitric acid, you're going to be using formic acid, which is a weak acid and will not dissociate completely. Uh, repeat the procedure used uh, for the nitric acid, but instead use formic acid instead. Make sure you dispose all of your waste in a non-halogenated waste yeah, container.